Hey there, in today's video I will show you how to create a fully custom user interface for Magic of Voxel. Before I get started, I wanted to let you know that I'm using Magic of Voxel version 0.99.6.4. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is search Google Color Picker in your browser. Pick two colors, one being lighter and the other being much darker. We need both of these to create a gradient for our color scheme in Magic of Voxel. Once you're in Magic of Voxel, select a color that's on the far left side of the palette and set its value to the lighter color you just picked. Do the same thing for the darker color except have it on the right side of the palette. Now that you have both colors in Magic of Voxel, hold Ctrl and Alt while dragging your mouse left to right over the two colors. This will create a gradient between the two. Make sure you write down each of the eight RGB values somewhere because you'll need them later. I decided to use Notepad in this case. I also decided to list them starting with the lightest color first and the darkest color last. This will help me keep track of which ones to use. Now that you have your gradient of colors, locate the config folder within the Magical Voxel file tree. Once you find it, open it up and make a duplicate of the UI folder and name it UI Default. After that, open up the folder and find cam.ui. You can open that with any text editor, in this case I'll be using Atom. Once you're in, change the default RGB code 555555 to the second or third lightest color in the gradient. This will change the little box that stores all the camera presets. And just like that, you can see the newly recolored box. Now it's time to change the main interface components. Start off by opening editor.sty with any text editor. I'll be using Atom again. This is where we will do the bulk of the work. Firstly, change the default RGB code 404040 40 on lines 10, 18, 40, 43, 46, 168, 248, 558, and 695 to the second darkest color on your gradient. This will recolor the title bar atop of your screen. Something that really helps speed things up for me is using Ctrl plus F to find exactly where the codes you need to replace are. In this case, you would type 404040 40 into the search box. After you've done that, change the default RGB code 505050 50 on lines 2, 13, 17, 554, and 640 to your third darkest color on your gradient. This will recolor your project tab on the right side of your screen. Next up is replacing the default RGB code 555555 on lines 1 and 12 to the fourth darkest color in the gradient. This will recolor the ribbon at the bottom of your screen where your camera utilities rest. Finally, for the main UI elements, replace the RGB code 606060 on lines 11, 16, and 164 to your fifth darkest color. This will be the main color you'll see in Magic Voxel. The next step is recoloring the text and icons. To do this, use the search function to find and replace all values of 140, 140, 140, and 255, 255, 255 RGB values with either the lightest or the darkest color in your gradient. You might even want a ninth color that's even brighter or darker than the ones you already have. By doing this, you really make the text pop out and easy to read. Once you've finished recoloring the text, scroll down past the first main paragraph in lines 1 through 58 until you reach the options section. Before I tell you how I made this part of the UI, let me explain what each section does. The idle value is what color will be shown when it's not selected, being hovered over, or clicked. The hover value does exactly what you think it does. It's the color that is shown when being hovered over. The select value is the color that is shown when it's clicked on. Assign all three of these the same value as your text previously. Once you have that done, feel free to copy paste appropriately to save time. Once you reach line 110, you'll notice that it has more than just text color within the idle, hover, and select regions. I usually set the idle value to the second darkest color in my gradient so it matches the rest of the UI. I set the hover value to the third lightest in my gradient so that it pops out and makes it easier to read. I set the select value to the lightest if not the second lightest value in my gradient so that it flashes even brighter for a second upon being clicked. Go ahead and copy paste those values appropriately and I know a lot of this is repetitive but I promise you guys it's worth it. Sometimes you'll see four values inside the RGB brackets but um, being completely transparent with you guys I have zero clue what that fourth value is for so I just left it alone when customizing my UI for Magic of Voxel. 
Further down the script, you might see a value titled Disable. I left this alone because I wasn't sure what it was for. I didn't notice any visible changes to the UI, so I think we should be good. And one last thing, don't forget to save your config file before reopening your freshly recolored Magical Voxel interface. And just like that, you've now got a fully custom Magical Voxel user interface to work in. If you made it this far, comment down below what colors you used, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, it really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.